Hi, Quinn Bus here, member of the FreePlane user community. Um, the purpose of this video, very short, is to simply demonstrate another application for use within a larger context of taking notes. Uh, this makes use of FreePlane's wonderful capability developed by Volker Borchers uh, for using formulas within nodes. Um, meetings are an event that takes place over a long period of time. Sometimes they're very expensive. You know, you've, you've got travel involved. You've got meetings with people. It takes a it's a all-consuming process. Uh, so I've already explored in a different video the idea of using FreePlane to uh, create a context for the, the in which the meeting was set. Uh, in this information age, we gather and collect uh, massive amounts of information, but most of us struggle with how to make sense of it any time uh, more than a couple of weeks after the event itself occurred. So that's one of the reasons I love FreePlane is because it is the premier way in, that I've found of putting information into a context that makes it retain what it meant. Meetings are especially true because when you're traveling you, you are often changing time zones. You meet with different people in formal meetings. You meet with people sometimes in coffee shops. Sometimes you go to dinner with someone and have a discussion. Um, using a, a mind map to capture that entire trip gives you a way to understand uh, later what really transpired and it's amazing how often it will trigger uh, memories that otherwise would have been lost. So I use mind maps to contain all aspects of the meeting, not just the, the who was there and what we talked about, but uh, images, uh, if there were pictures taken electronically or digital, I put those in the map and reference them. Uh, I've talked about that in a different uh, video uh, earlier about how to make use of images within a mind map. I also use them to capture, not surprisingly, uh, capture expenses associated with that meeting and that's what I want to show you today. Expenses are a necessary part of travel and most of us uh, are rarely traveling on our own dime as we would say here in the United States. We're rarely traveling out of money in our own pocket. We ask to be reimbursed for that through some agency. Uh, keeping track of the expenses is a necessary requirement for basic accounting, but also, again, the context in which the expense occurred, uh, it makes perfect sense to me to go ahead and put that in the mind map as well. So w what I'm going to show you is just a brief, a very simple, this is, there's not rocket science here, a very simple application as to how that is done. You see here I was traveling, uh, this, this one cell has been, uh, all the others in it, other siblings have been hidden. This was a one of one meeting I had uh, last year about this time of year when I went to uh, Chiang Mai, Thailand. Um, what I typically do, as you've seen in the other video, is I have then nodes um, under which I capture what actually occurred in the meetings themselves, um, who was there, uh, what we talked about, etc. But I've also incorporated this little piece that will capture what expenses I incurred during the trip. So I now have a context of what day it occurred on and I also have some basic accounting here that shows me what those numbers were. Uh, makes it very simple later to turn in an expense reimbursement request. Um, what you see here are some very special cells that make use of attributes. I'm showing you these under the calendar and attributes uh, uh, editor within the free plane property panel. Um, and I've arbitrarily created these attributes, one called expense in bot. Bot is the uh, currency of, of Thailand. Um, expense in terms of dollars and exchange rate. The expense bot is simply a number. Uh, you simply put the number in there and that's whatever it is, is whatever it is. The expense dollars, when I see I click on this and open the little formula, you'll see that I'm taking the expense bot in that node okay, and dividing it by the exchange rate in that node. It's a very simple calculation that tells me to makes the conversions to my currency United States dollars. The exchange rate in each node, if you click on that, it says where did it get that value? Well it got it from the parent. Um, the exchange rates for any given day are the same. 
they don't change throughout the day. I guess at a currency level they might, but for my purposes, I can find out what the exchange rate was for that day, and I enter that value in the parent for this calculation. So this day I have 45.5. This day, I sh I, for purposes of my illustration here, I made them all the same. But these, t excuse me, typically would be different values representing the currency for that given day. So what happens then is I enter this value in a give the note a name, whatever it was. I can explain using details where I, or what, you know, expand some more information about the, the expense itself. And then I just simply enter the amount uh, that I was charged and for which I may or may not have a receipt. You could also create another um, attribute down here that says receipt and put yes or no in there. So you would have additional ways to track information if that would be of value. So I just enter the amount and automatically the information is calculated in terms of dollars by dividing this value, which got from over here, into this value to give me a expense. Now, you see this rather large number here, 5.6179, etc. There is a capability that is uh, very handy and it's attribute uh, value formats. So I can come over here and highlight this formula and select a pre-slated value uh, uh, template. And when I do that now, it's converted it basically to a two-digit uh, decimal uh, with a dollar sign in front of it. So then I can clean these up very easily by assigning uh, a value format. Uh, I think this is a capability that did not exist at the time I wrote this. This is one of the many enhancements that Freeplane has uh, benefited from um, and I have since now incorporated these. I'll go ahead and change each of them so you can see how they would look. Uh, very much similar to the way you would use uh, templates within or format uh, masks within Excel spreadsheets. So there you have a very simple thing. Uh, you've got expense in terms of bot and you've got a conversion to dollars. Now for each day I came over and actually then summed these. I'll give you the formula here. This formula says take the children and sum up their values of expense bot. All right, so what happens is this 450 now is a sum of the 150, the 500, and the 250. And then for expense dollars, do the same thing because I've already done the conversion on them. I won't do it again. I'll just sum them up. And then for the exchange rate, as we've already talked about, it's just a value that the children each then use for making their calculations. So now I have a context in which this was a travel day. I remember I was flying in that long haul from the central part of the United States to the other side of the world, and these were the expenses that I reported for that day. So I could have had additional sales for, ex for example, something I bought in U.S. currency. I just wouldn't do the calculation. I just put a value in there for expense dollars, and there would be no bot shown. Now one other thing that makes this handy. Uh, under edit node extensions you'll see here a uh, attribute manager. An attribute manager allows you to determine which attributes in the map are shown at any given time. Um, I have only selected those that are related to this expense demonstration, but I have many other attributes that are in play uh, on, on my maps. Um, you can select which of these you want to turn on and turn off uh, that works in concert with view, node attributes, and you see I have here I've selected show selected attributes. I could just with one switch show everything. I can hide them all or I can show and if I hit hide, see, you'll see they all disappear. If I come back over to view and node attributes, show selected, you'll see just those open. There may be other attributes associated with other elements of the map that are not going to show because I didn't have them checked in the attribute manager. So this gives you a quick way to turn off, turn on, allow parts of your map to be shown or not, depending on what you need. 
So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, I'll be out on the uh, discussion group. Um, let's hear your ideas and how you've made use of formulas within Freeplane to provide context for your life. Thanks. We'll see you out on the web.